Today we're at Ruthin Puthglass Golf Club in North Wales. It's a nine hole parkland course. The aim of the day is to try and break 90, so to get eight over or better on this nine hole course. Opening hole is a par four up the hill, and we hit a great drive, it finds the left side of the fairway. It's 132, uphill a lot. Front edge is 116, hitting the eight iron. So we have a chance to hit the green in regulation, but we hit a terrible miss hit from a hanging lie, and then replace the divot. It's 72, front edge is 60, just a sand wedge, soft one, get it there. So we're looking to get on the green in three now and have a putt for par. It's short. But unfortunately this sandwich was hit short. We're not on telly, are we? Uh, no, we're not on telly. Okay. <laughs> Just chatting to a couple of friendly members there in the background. <laughs> we're too heavy handed with a greenside chip. It goes racing by with the dry conditions and we're left with a 22 footer for a bogey. Stop short. And we hold the five footer for a double bogey. Not a good start to the round. Hold two is a par four medium length. Going with hybrid off the tee. I've played this course once before. This is quite a tight tee shot and it's downhill too. And it's a great shot over 200 yards, finds the left side of the fairway. It's 137, front edge is 124, downhill. Going to hit a smooth one with the 8 iron, right at it. So we have a chance to hit the green in regulation, but from an uneven lie, we miss the green to the right. Green side pitch now, 25 yards. it really tentatively with the dry conditions and misses the green short. So fourth shot is a delicate bump on to the green, which is pretty mediocre. And we're left with a six footer for a bogey. Just misses, fishes behind the hole. Not too bad of a putt that one actually. And card our second double bogey in a row. Hole three is a long par three up the hill. Really tough hole this one. The greens to the left of the trees in front. It's hard to make out the flag and the green from the tee box. And we hit a total miss hit with a driver. Just wanted to drive it up there. Get it close to the green, left or right, but got the miss hit. It's 136, front edge is 123 up the hill. Just gonna hit the seven iron from this rough left rough. Try and get it there. So we had some good fortune to still be in play from that bad tee shot. It's a seven iron. I think it's long. Up the hill, a miss screen, slightly long left. So just putting for par now from the fringe. Just misses to the right. Could have been an amazing par save that one. <laughs> and we missed the four footer coming back. And card our third double bogey in a row to start the round. Hole four is a short par four, hitting back to the clubhouse. It's downhill too. So going with hybrid off the tee. And there's loads of room down the right. And that's where the tee shot goes around 200 yards in the fairway. It's 112, front edge is 101. Hitting a 9 iron to the left side of the green. Hopefully, get a putt for birdie. So it's another approach for an uneven lie. 
It goes really well. Yep, really good. That's on the green. Finally. We're on the green in regulation. Thankfully not in that bunker on the right. And we have our first birdie putt of the day coming up. It's a 12 footer, slightly downhill. Let's see if we can make this one. Just misses on the low side. Definitely wasn't going to leave that one short. Uh, two foot. I thought I'd missed that one. And we nearly missed the two foot tap in. We card our first par of the day to stabilise the round. Hole five is a short par four. You have to hit your drive over the brow of the hill so you can't see where your tee shot ends. And we hit a great shot with a driver. Goes really straight yep, seems over okay. 200 yards and it rolls off to the first cut to the left. It's 119, front edge is 106. Downhill slightly from the rough, hitting the pitching wedge. Just a smooth one, get it on. Another putt for birdie, hopefully. So, the approach to the green, I'm clubbing down with the pitching wedge to protect against the flyer and also with the drag conditions. Right, that's short. Hit heavy that one. It's 34, but the pin's at the front. Uh, just a sandwich. So a green side pitch with a sandwich. Unfortunately, we miss our landing spot. It goes slightly long. Rolls up to the back of the green. So happy to be putting for par. This is a 22 footer. The golf's a funny old game. Had the line perfectly on that one, just didn't hit it. And we tap in for the bogey, first bogey of the day that one. Hole six is a short downhill par four, going with hybrid off the tee. And we hit a terrible tee shot, goes straight right over the trees, never to be seen again. One shot penalty. Or the lost ball so it's three off the tee not good news and take two it's a really good nice draw with the hybrid that rolls out to the first cut to the left over 200 yards it's 84 downhill front edge is 75 from the rough downhill so hitting the sandwich right at it so looking to get on the green in four, I have a putt for bogey, but this sandwich shot was hit slightly heavy and came up short. Not for the first time today. <laughs> so we chip one on with the sandwich for the fifth shot. Really good. <laughs> really happy with that one. Made use of the dry condition as well. And the three and a half footer goes right in the center of the hole and we card our fourth double bogey of the day. And there's a really nice view from the back of the seventh tee box. Nice rolling hills of the Welsh countryside. It's 117, front edge is 105, hits in the nine iron. The pins roll all on the left, it's a very tough pin this one. Going to try and get it to the middle of the green. Not in the bunker. <laughs> Hole seven is a short par three. Stricken deck 17, easiest hole on the front nine. Yeah, that's on the green. Apart <laughs> from Birdie coming up. And this hole is quite memorable as there's an enormous bunker guarding the green at the front. Not often you see bunkers that big at courses around here. So we have our second Birdie putt coming up of the day. Just cleaning the ball there. It's a 15 footer, slightly downhill, right to left. Let's see if we can make this one. It misses on the low side. And we 
tap in for the easy par and move on. Hole 8 is the longest par 4 at Ruthin Plus Glass. Stroke index 1, hardest hole on the course. And we're going with driver off the tee. We make a reasonable connection with the driver. It doesn't go that far, it goes around 190 yards on the right side of the fairway. It's 2-2-1. Uh, Miles back not getting there. Plus it's a blind shot this one, so just two nine irons to the green. So playing this par four conservatively for the rest of the hole to try and take double bogey out of the equation. I've approached to the green around 115 yards downhill. And we're on in three and we have the par putt that we wanted. Yeah, that's on the green. It's not close, but I got a putt for par. It's a long one. It's a 38 footer. Stops a long way short. Five foot. And we have the five footer for a bogey. Let's see if we can hold this one. And the putt drops, happy with that one. Guarding a bogey on the stroke in the next one hole, which is always a respectable score for me. And looking back, this is the green for the eighth. A lot of danger left and right, so could have gotten a lot of trouble there. The final hole is a long par three, hitting over the valley. Going with hybrid off the tee, see if we can get it there. And we make a good connection with a tee shot. We miss the green. It's short right. So from this shot here, you can see the tee box is actually a lot lower than the green. So I didn't know that. Bit of course management there, should have clubbed up a bit. So there's a green side pitch now, 22 yards to the pin. It goes really well. Happy with that one. We have the par putt that we wanted. It's a six footer. And goals are funny old game. I actually duffed this putt. One of the first times I've ever done that on camera. Kind of sums up the day in general. And we tie the bogey with no drama on hole nine for a score of 44, so 11 over. So I was trying to get eight over or better. And I got nowhere near it on this day. Uh, obviously the start was terrible. Three double bogeys in a row. I don't think I've ever done that. Even when I was a 27 handicapper. But that's the way it goes sometimes. You have to take the rough with the smooth. My approach play on this day was really weak. And that's what uh, contributed to the bad scoring I think. The course is a tricky one here at Ruthin. A lot of the fairways are sloped. So you have to know which side of the fairway to hit it down, otherwise you could be in the left or the right rough. And a lot of the greens are either raised above you or down below, so you have to take the slope into account, and I didn't do that very well on this day. But I still enjoyed the round nonetheless. Paid £10 for a round after 5 o'clock, and I thought it was good value. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoy playing and making it, and see you on the next one. Signing off.